I'm Mark from Vintage Freak Limited and I'm back with another unboxing video. It's number three in a series of nine. At first sight, this box looks like it could be one of my flea market boxes. There's only one way to find out. Let's make a start. Okay, let's see what we've got in the box. Yeah, as suspected, this is definitely a uh, flea market box, so I probably won't spend too much time on each individual item. We'll fly through it as quick as we can. First out, we have a hand-painted garden truck. You can use that, carrying your tools around in the garden, hand-painted. Uh, we'll get some close-up photos of the artwork for you. eBay, I would retail this in the region of 15 to 20 pounds. I probably won't spend any time talking about this. <laughs> this is uh, a certainly a vintage Christmas wreath for hanging on the door. If anything, I would bulk this into a uh, job lot of items around just before uh, sort of October, November time. But uh, in its own respect, it's not really worth anything. Next out, set of cows, horns, mounted leather. I would be looking in the region of. 20 to 25 pounds for these. Wooden backing, wall mounted. They're in good. They're in yeah. They're in good condition. No damage. Decorative set of cans for ones. Next out is a job lot or a collection of French enamel sieves ladles yeah it looks at the bottom as though there's um, a red tray so we can warm out these we'll get to that right at the end so individually I would probably be looking at selling these for in the region of 15 to 20 pounds each as I say French uh, enamel and definitely vintage 50s onwards nice nice set Next that, interesting little group of items, naval, possibly Royal Navy, semaphore flags or signal flags, vintage, that's got the letter U written on it, and with pegs. Sell it to H. And a uh, letter F. And finally, a letter V. So, luckily they don't spell anything uh, untoward, but um, yeah, they'd, they'd be decorative in a man cave, initials of a name maybe interesting items they would retail probably in the region of 20 pounds each probably as a job lot I would list them on eBay at uh, approximately 75 pounds there or thereabouts interesting next out and amazingly still in one piece we have a crystal rose bowl or flower basket. I think this is pressed. I don't think this is lead, cut lead crystal. So on that basis, without a little bit more research, no maker's mark on the bottom, without a little bit more research, I would probably list this for as little as 10 to 15 pounds on eBay and take an offer on it. There's a lot of them around. They look fantastic, they weigh quite a lot. I uh, don't know if there's any ring on it that you can hear. Yeah, you get a little ring out of it, but I'm not convinced it's lead crystal. It just doesn't feel heavy enough to me. But nice decorative and it, that, that will sell. That will sell, but not for a lot of money. Next out, we have now these aren't vintage or antique by any stretch of the imagination, they're retro numbered utensil rack and also one of the little end caps is missing as you can see. 
four hooks in total that the end one's missing. I mean, it wouldn't stop you using it. Uh, this probably, I don't know why, kind of reminds me maybe sort of cricket could hang in a cricket club or a sports pavilion of some description. But they're printed tin numbers on a metal, uh, I don't know if it's steel. Yeah, there you go, there's the magnet, so it's ferrous there, so probably steel with uh, printed tin plate numbers. Quite a nice look, decorative. I would probably uh, ask in the region of be less than £10, £9.50 or so for, for this on eBay and see what offers come in. And that's the end of part one, episode three. If you can spare a second to like, comment and subscribe to this channel, Vintage Freak Limited, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, take care and stay safe.